Hey, it's great buy time. Yes, because, well, today we are out uh, looking at houses yet again. But at least this time it was, you know, kind of productive. It wasn't a complete bust like it normally is, which is a good thing. Um, but we saw a lot of houses today. We saw, I think, uh, four, we went to, f I think it was four open houses across like three cities, towns, and then we went to like four or five more houses uh, with our agent after, you know, the two to four open house window. Why they only have two hours, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so after that win you know, window, we went and saw some more houses. So we saw a ton of houses today. Um, some not good at all, some really good, and some in the middle. Um, so yeah, decent. But after that was all said and done, we decided, hey, you know what? We're out here anyways. We haven't been to uh, Value Village in a while, at least not out here. So hey, let's go check it out. And then we actually found some stuff. It was actually not a complete bust. We, uh, yeah, it was a good day. And then so we had such a good journey to that value village and such good you know the luck came our way that we decided hey you know what let's go hit another value village so we went to another value village uh one town over um and then again pater so pater two value villages that's a good day but what did i get that's what you're wondering that's why you're here that's why you're watching this video so i'm gonna show you so i got all sorts of different things uh, first off, I got this official Nintendo Wii U uh, gamepad stand cradle set. Um, this was three bucks, so I figured it's brand new as far as I can tell, factory sealed, etc., etc. Three bucks, why not? Um, the best things of the day: two Fighting Fantasy books um i mean they're not in perfect condition but they're in good enough condition i probably have both of them but either way i like if you didn't know i pick these up whenever i see them um as long as they're not overpriced and they're not like completely trashed and these ones are in decent uh shape uh, i mean even the look, usually the spines are, are messed up and i mean this this one the, the back cover is is not great but hey whatever I don't care so much um, what else did I get here got a bunch of CDs bunch of CDs uh, brand new factory sealed Green Day international hits I don't think I own any Green Day so I mean factory sealed there's I think it's three bucks for a CD um, another brand new factory sealed X-Files fight the future this is the soundtrack the movie and then I picked up a couple of Gypsy Kings <laughs> albums um, yeah I mean you, 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 I don't know if you're a fan of, of the Gypsy Kings or not but um, I do dig I mean they have their their main hits that everybody seems to know um, but you know what uh, I dig their sound I dig their style so when I saw these in like minty condition I figured you know what I'm going to get those I got uh, an underworld album this is dub no bass with my head man dub no bass with my head man so there are a few other underworld albums there and a sneaker pimps album but they're all scratched and such but I did pick up this um, the acid life Mixed by the Acid Junkies. I'm guessing it's Acid. I don't know. I've never heard of them. But I figured for the price, it's worth taking a risk. Um, what else did I get? Uh, found a couple of things here. Uh, these are like, I think they're pre-built Magic the Gathering decks. Um, one was $2.99, one was $1.99, but she only rang through $2.99 so I essentially got these ones for free cool at least I think didn't seem like she did both of them and then on to the movies because I did some movies <laughs> first off VHS 
And we've got Jack Nicholson in The Terror. This is a um, Roger Corman cult horror classic. Um, so, yeah, it's early stuff. Early uh, uh, Corman, I believe, from... I don't know when. But this was released in 1996. Um, and I, I just love picking up the VHS stuff or VHS when I can get them really cheap and those are only a buck. Um, next, as far as I can tell, brand new factory sealed Ren and Stimpy show seasons three and a half-ish. So I think I may have the first box set of this. So, And this was uh, six bucks. So I'll, pff, six bucks for brand new. Not going to pass that up. And then finally... This was purchased or somehow from, went from Walmart to the Valley Village without ever being opened. And I just couldn't pass it up. It's Hard Rock Zombies brand new factory sealed. Um, I have no idea what this is, is but um, yeah, I, I, I had to get it. I, had, I just had to get it. Um, it's for a uh, Blue Laser Films release. And apparently they've also released the films American Drive-In, Funland, and Fast Food. Um, it looks cheesy as all hell, and that's why I got it. That in the name. Hard Rock Zombies. You, you can't pass Hard Rock Zombies up. You just can't. Especially not for three bucks. Come on! So there you go. Yes, all that good stuff. All today, two value villages. Booyah! Great buys all around, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Post down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you know about any of these things, uh, you know, as long as there's no spoilers, I want to know about them because uh, there's a few things I've not seen yet or heard of or listened to. But you know what to do. Post down below. I will reply. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.